Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Music Marketing TV. I'm Dan D, and today I'm going to show you guys how to create, you know, custom FPC patches and uh, save everything and, you know, assign everything to a MIDI keyboard or a MIDI controller. So, let's get on with it. We're going to start off with an empty FPC here. As you can see, nothing is inside the boxes or in the pads, rather. The first thing you want to do is just create your drum kit. So, I'm going to go into my drum kit here place my kicks and just placing random kicks you can also layer if you want to for instance snares here second row along with these two at the same time Get some hi hats and stuff, put that on the next row. And put some some loops. Some sounds actually. And there you go. So all of that is there, and we want to assign it to a MIDI controller. All right, so let's assign everything to a MIDI controller. I have this set to C3, as you see already, but uh, I'm going to set it in a way where I like it. So I'm going to click it, left click it, say learn. I'm going to hit whatever on my keyboard. Bang, C3. There's a conflict there, two notes at the same time. So let's fix that again. Hit this one. We'll change that to learn. Go to the next note. Go to the next note. And it's simply just clicking the pad that you want, going to the MIDI note here, and then hitting learn. So there's all my kicks. On my MIDI keyboard. Everything seems good. It's exactly how you want it. So now, the idea of this whole tutorial is how to save everything the way you want it. So, really simple drop down menu here. You're going to go save preset as, leave it in here, title it, let's just title it Dandy. And there you go. Saved preset. Now, let me just give you a rundown. This is the sound of that first one, second one. Remember my hi-hat was there, I mean my hi-hat, my snare, and another snare there. So I'm going to close this, I'm going to close everything, close all of FL, turn it back on, just to prove my point. Open up FPC again, these are the wrong sounds, my presets can be found here, right click, oh look, there's Dandy. And there is my setup. Let's see if my MIDI keyboard is the same. Yep, it's still the same. So for you MPC guys, this would be a great, you know, way to set up your, you know, settings and all that good stuff so that every time you open up FL Studio, your setup is the same. All right. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial on how to create your FPC custom presets, save them, assign them to MIDI notes on the keyboard. And I'm Dan D from Music Marketing TV, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching.